Hey everybody, welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13 with Reinstein. I trust you are all really good today. We got <laughs> a couple of issues from the last episode. One was uh, we have now got this psychic ship that we're trying to freeze to death. We'll have to wait and see how that happens. Uh, the other, we still got this poison ship. I will get to dealing with that eventually. If this works, this thing that I'm doing here, this freezing, then I will use that on this place down here. Also, uh, <laughs> we were trying to um, tame Muffalo, uh, not Muffalo, Frumbos, and uh, they kind of got angry. And as you can see, they're trying to chase after Elfwin at the moment. Now, our freaking turrets are shooting the Thrumbo, which not particularly happy about, but there is always a chance that... Uh, Oh god, Mr. Pin, run! There's always a chance that these thrombos are going to attack upon failed uh, attempt at, um, you know, failed attempt at taming them. Now, just turning off these turrets so they don't actually shoot them. Mr. Pin, you're probably going to need to be rescued. Hobo, you also got attacked. Uh, so, Ash and Crow's currently carrying you to the med bay. And I'm freaking hoping Mr. Pin doesn't get killed here. No, he's not going to get killed. Okay, good, good. Turrets, stop shooting these guys. They're gonna blow up. I like thrombos. Oh, jeez. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna attack these as well. Oh, God, no. This is not gonna end well. Um, I may need to change tact here. Oz, run and turn on the turrets. Sardin's running for her life back to base. Go on, Gelt. Get inside. Phew. Screw you, Thrumbo. We're going to kick your ass. I don't want to, but I have to. Okay, Oz, you go and rescue Mr. Pin. Freaking Thrumbo. There's always something that's kicking your ass around here, isn't there? Look, they're going to blow up half my turrets as well. I know it. Screw you, Thrumbo. Look how strong they are. Can you imagine if I could make Thrumbo clothes? Well, maybe I will be able to, because I'll be able to... Once I've killed them, I'll be able to, um, you know, kick, uh, kill them. And, and cut them up and take their clothes. Run, Camino! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, we could rescue them. Oh, that would be better. That would be much more preferable. Let's do that. Rescue them both. Okay. Um, right, let's check on Mr. Hobo. How are you doing, dude? Right hand torn off. Left leg torn off. Jesus Christ. You're going to have a peg leg and all now, mate. How does that feel? We'll have to install a peg leg down there. Um, we need our best doctors on that though. So Escobar and Ash and Crow. Take off Reinstein. Camino, you're good too. All right, sweet. How about Mr. Pinya? I'm not missing any limbs, are you? Yeah, you're missing another. You're missing a limb as well. Fucking right leg to one off. Jesus Christ. These thrombos are psycho. Maybe they'll feel a bit better if we if we nice to them and, and treat them. All right, how's our base? How's our freezing construction going? Alright, that's actually turned on now. Cool. Alright, so I'm just gonna like lower the temperature down to like minus 119 apparently. Let's see how that works. It should freeze this thing. From what I've heard, that's what happens. But maybe what you need to do is shoot it first. I don't know. I really don't know. Tell you what, Flair, you come with me. Stand there. Fire at it. Yeah, and then run away. Will that work? This is what people tell me. Look at that. We've got four scythers, one centipede. Let's just lower that temperature right down. And leave that for a little while and see what happens. Health. Data processing. I don't think it's going to work, but this is apparently what people have said in the forums that it does work, so it's kind of exciting to see. And we got another trader, yeah! Right, we'll wait for them to come into our base before talking to them. Uh, we're going to need more power generation, like I said. Let's see, how are you guys getting on down there? Are you freezing to death? Nope, they seem healthy enough. They don't seem bothered by this at all. Let's just turn the temperature way down. It's going to use up so much power, but I'm going to try it anyway. All right, here come the traders. Worst comes to the worst. At least they're trapped now, so we can build turrets and kick their ass that way. 
All right, who should we get to talk to these? Um, it's got to be the person who's best at social skills. So Sardin's pretty good. Escobar, Rhiny, Ash and Crow, you're the man. Come on, dude. Where is he? Purple. Trade with Mr. Purple. Do you have any purple hats? That's exactly what I've been after for such a long time. A purple freaking hat. There you go, look at that. What have you got for me there? Have you got any of them there components? That would be immensely helpful. Ah, you got four. That'll do. Thank you very much. And you got 1,078 silver. Ooh, they got some kitty cats. Should we get a kitty cat? Nah. Mega spider, scarab, and spillipede meat. You can have that. Spillipede? Spelliped. How do you pronounce that? Plasteel, herbal medicine, steel. Hmm. They got loads of muffalo, muffalo leather, but... No, no, we've got loads of muffalo leather. Uh, potatoes, scarab meat. I don't think there's any other trade we can make here. We could maybe buy some alpacas. But then that's probably a waste of money. We got enough animals. Well, that was not a bad trade. Thanks, lads. Eh, you know, don't bother to come again, I guess. <laughs> right, I still wonder, is this going to work? I'm just gonna leave them there for a little bit. <laughs> leave them to marinade in the freezing cold temperatures. Hook is fully healed. Who's Hook? Which one is Hook? Is that the wild boar? I don't think so. Maybe it's one of these muffalos. Oh, this muffalo's got a fancy name. Sonata. Sonata, not a tomato. I want some more raiders to come, pa come past and fight in this place I've got here. We'll kick their ass, so we will. Hey, we've now got our... What? I built a butcher table. Damn it, Reinstein, you're such a freaking idiot. I bet someone noticed that. They're going to be like, you built a butcher table, you dumbass. Electric tailoring bench is what we need, dumbass. All right, mortars have now been built. Sweet. Let's get some incendiary IEDs next. Uh, yes, electric tailoring bench. That's the correct one. There you go. Thank you very much, Mr. Pin. Sorry for putting you at a bit of an inconvenience there. All right, that door is there. Are they freezing? It's, this is roofed, isn't it? Constructed roof. They don't seem to be getting frozen at all. The temperature in there is minus 58. Maybe that's not cold enough. I might look on the forums... Uh, if this doesn't work this episode and um, try and correct that all right you guys are all enjoying yourself lovely lovely right I'm gonna reconstruct these turrets now then do, 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 do. another one there freaking freaking uh, thrombos making my turrets blow up there we go and flare what are you up to you should be making ah you're busy constructing so yeah, smithing. The thing we found out was that Tynan Sylvester has called uh, crafting, um, has said that you need crafting skills in order to operate the component assembly bench. But as we discovered in a previous episode, it's actually smithing that you need. So if you're stuck, then uh, trying to create them, then that is what the issue is. Uh, where's Hobo? We also we need to make you keep growing. You're already doing that, good man. But you're also taming creatures, so we might want someone else to grow. And Oz, you'll get back on it, because our crops are rotting away. We don't actually have any food here, either. Come on, Camino and Oz, get cooking again. Starvation, Escobar. Left middle finger. And the ancient structure has emitted the psychic pulse. That has driven nearby animals mad. Oh, crap. I guess they're all going to come and kick my ass, are they? Where are they? Let's keep an eye on people. Make sure there's no animals that come and uh, charge after me. Alright, this, 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 this does not seem to be working. At all. Why do people say it works? Yeah, that's it. Build up these. Uh-oh. Escobar's gone berserk. 
No, Mr. Pin, run for your life. Oh, shit. Don't tell me she's melee attacking people with that, that freaking weapon she's got there. What is that? Plasteel knife. Yeah. Camino, we're going to need two people on this. We must put Escobar to bed. Look, Mr. Pin's getting cut up here. Damn it, Pin. Oh, Pin's been put down. Yeah, good job, Camino. Come Escobar, you will have to wait for rescue. You must be punished for your crimes. Nah, tell you what, Ash and Crow, you come and do it. Trade caravan from Lagua Gubia is leaving. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, look at my little bear wandering around. Zip bear. Hey, you're not supposed to be on unrestricted. Get back to your animal area. I want to uh, increase the size of this animal area as well, so they've got a bit more room to sleep in. Let's put it like so. Yeah, like that. We'll make a nice big square there. They need more room, the poor giant creatures. <laughs> Muffalo 1 has developed a health condition. Heart attack. <laughs> what? Heart attack, painful, affects consciousness. Yeah, I would think it is painful. Jesus Christ. Well, you look at all these animals I've got, though. If I happen to uh, get in any more fights with the hives, we should kick their ass. Hunter lacks a weapon. Escobar. You are crazy, Escobar. Pick up your plasteel knife and stop misbehaving. There we go. Oh. Elfin, you're going to get yourself stuck there, mate. There we go. Let's deconstruct those. Lovely. Poor mood. What's the matter with you, Mr. Oz? In a moderate amount of pain, yeah. Oz and I think my character are still suffering from these fibrous mechanites and sensory mechanites, which is a bit of a pain in the arse. Our power generation is still going well, you know. Hey, this solar generator is not generating anything. And no roof area. There we go, it's working. Has it been there all that time, not generating anything? Probably, knowing me. Right, Riney. I saw someone who was missing a weapon. Who was it? Camino. Mr. Pin, it was you. Grab that PDW, my friend. Uh oh. Fuel generator's broken down. God damn it. Well, this definitely is not working with this psychic ship, and since we've already got the power cable there, I'm going to have to take more drastic actions, and I don't know, build these turrets like so, but one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Hobo has named Muffalo to Walter. After being nuzzled. Ah, oh, isn't that cute, Mr. Mr. Hobo? You got a friend. A friend for life there. Right, this is going to need to be powered. So, build my little power cable up here, like so. That should work. And then all i got to do is open up one of these walls, run our colonist away, and uh, the job should be a good one. But we're low on components, so again... We need to deconstruct some turrets. And we've got one built so far. Flare's nearly built another one. Ah, we've got EMP grenades there. Cool. I wish you could make your own body armor. That would be pretty helpful. Yeah, we have our tailoring bench as well. So let's make sure we make some t-shirts. I don't know, let's make five for now, and some pants. And I guess I want it made out of the best material that I have, because it offers the most protection, so... Muff muffalo leather, I think, will be the first thing we'll use. Details. Muffalo wool. Requires 50 ingredients. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Leathers. There we go, muffalo leather. Yeah, that'll do. And we need someone who's going to do it. So, as we said, Flare is the best. Hobo is probably the second best. So, I'll take you... How's our growing going? Slowly, but Oz is doing that as well. 
No, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, growing Sardin. Yeah, we'll get Sardin. Oh, we'll get Sardin to help out with a bit of growing. Yeah. Alright, and now we're low on power. God damn it. Toggle power. No power to the turrets, ever. You bastard. I can't believe we haven't managed to destroy this with this freezing. Still minus 24 in there. It's heating up though. Alright, what's going on guys? Are you all asleep? Fast forward. What happened to the thrombos? Did they all die in the end? Oh, it looks like they did. Look, we got thrombo horns. <gasps> thrombo horns are cool. Reinstein, grab the thrombo horn. Equip thrombo horn. What, you can use it as a weapon? What? Yeah, melee damage 15. Cool. Uh, we're going to need somewhere to store it, though. So let's store it in here. And what does it come under? Elephant tusk thrombo horn. There we are. Right, Reiny. Reinstein's not a hauler. Camino is. Nope, Camino's not. Escobar is then. Yay! <laughs> we got there eventually. Okay. Uh, so we're short on power. Yeah, they've toggled these turrets, so that's good. How are we getting on building these turrets? Slowly, slowly. I wonder what happens when you deconstruct these if you get all the components back. It looks like perhaps you don't. Sonata is pregnant, one of our muffalo. Cool, we're gonna have baby muffalos. That's kinda cute. There we go, and Hobo, yeah, he's making a leather t-shirt. Good one, dude. Let's see how good it is. What are your skills like as a tailor? Oh, shoddy. Um, good try, I guess. Sudden put it on. <laughs> there you go, Sudden. cool. Buffalo leather t-shirt. Yeah, they definitely need some new clothes. Good work, Hobo. Escobar has named Grizzly Bear one Lilith after being nuzzled. Sweet, sweet. Right, Flair's still making components. Good man. There we go. These are being built nicely. Look at... You can see how short we are on components, though. They're just a nightmare to try and get hold of. That's why I keep buying them. Um... Hmm... Is there any way of finding out, like, if you get all the components back from when you deconstruct these turrets? Because if you do, then all i got to do is deconstruct them, move them over there, then deconstruct them again, bring them back, you know, etc, etc, ad infinitum. But otherwise, we're screwed. Camino, you're working on these things, are you? I tell you what. We don't need any more stone blocks, but we do need more steel. So if you can smelt some metal, that would be amazing. Psychic drone medium. Jealous? What are you jealous of, young man? Someone has a more impressive bedroom than you. Damn it. Flip. How can they have more impressive bedroom than you? You've got a large sculpture in there, mate. Alright, let's reinstall these little animal beds now. New lovers, Ash and Crow and Camino have come together and are now lovers. Oh my god, Ash and Crow. Damn, son. You're going to be getting some action tonight. Right, let me uninstall this bed. You're going to have a big double bed for yourself and Camino. Woohoohoo! It's a party in the bedroom. There you go. Sexy party. Okay, five. I'm kind of worried. Five turrets is not going to be enough. Right, quick, quick march on the uh, component construction flare, please. Ooh, the ancient structure has emitted a psychic pulse that's driven nearby animals mad. Lovely, lovely. We've now finished researching IEDs. Good, good. So let's pause the game. This charge shot looks kind of cool. Understand the secrets of pulse charge energy projectile munitions. Allows you to build the charge rifle. Cool. Alrighty. Ah! Elfwind's under attack from a rampaging boom rat. Elfwind turns around and Millie attacks the boom rat. <laughs> good job, Elfwind. You're on fire, though, but still, good job. 
<laughs> Basically, I imagine him popping like a sack in it and the gas coming out and boom! Explosion! That's it, my lovelies. Fire. Colonist treatment, Elfwin. Yeah, I guess you... Ah, you got bitten by the boom rat. You might get the plague. Oh, but Jesus. Hey, we need some more little uh, sleeping beds for these guys. You poor creatures, you got nowhere to sleep. Fire! Oh, hold on, we need to increase the size of their animal area as well. Uh, where are we? Animal area one, there we are. There you go, guys, you can have a bite to eat. Aha, uh -huh. Sardin's fighting the fire. And you guys are still refusing to die. You fuckers. So we could chance having a fight, but nah, not. I don't want to, man. Look, he, this guy's got an inferno cannon. Charge lances as well. It's too dangerous. Elfin the Butcher is fully healed. Yay, Elfin. Hey, did someone else put a t-shirt on there? Was it you, Elfwyn? No. Yeah, put that fire out, people. Alright, I'll tell you what I need to do then, is expand home area. Just so they cover all this and fight the fire. Could do with those foam uh, poppers as well. I don't even know how to build them, to be honest. There we are, fire foam popper. When touched by fire or triggered by hand, this pops and sprays... A fire extinguishing foam in a circular field around itself. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Um, hmm. Well, we still have not dealt, dealt with these buggers. I guess we're just going to need to wait for the components. And everyone is fast asleep. Colonist needs treatment. Elfin, you're on fire, dude. Don't let yourself be burned. What on earth are you doing, young man? Drone intensifies crash ship. No. What level of psychic drone level medium? If that gets to high, that may cause a problem. Wow, they can't fight that fire at all, man. Um, Alright, I guess this about wraps up the episode. There's not a lot else I can do. Um, I guess I'll just fast forward a little bit. Deal with anything that crops up. And hopefully get some more components built. That's about all we can do. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, share with all your friends. And let's get this party started on the channel. Oh, dear. We need to expand the home area. That fire is raging. Okay, yeah. So have a good day, guys. Please click the like button if you've enjoyed my content. And I'll see you in a day or two for the next episode. Bye-bye.